Over the last five years, we've seen tremendous reform in the juvenile justice arena, um, both large and small across the country. Um, we've seen uh, states do make great uh, legislation and administrative policy reforms for kids. Um, one of the things that we've been hearing in the past year or so is that state budgets are cratering and people are concerned about what's going to happen with these great reforms that they've instituted and will they be able to hold firm to those reforms and will they even be able to implement new reforms that will help uh, children. And I'm here to say that the news is actually good, that we shouldn't despair, because doing right by kids is actually going to help your state's budget. Um, states actually can't afford anymore to throw their good, precious money after bad programs. And we know that the good programs are cost effective, and there's lots of research out there, and it's easily gettable on the web around what works for kids. And we need to be implementing those programs as a way to help States save money and do right by kids. At the same time, we really have an opportunity to get kids out of secure, large secure facilities that are far away from their families and communities. We know that these secure facilities lead to increased youth recidivism, they harm children, they harm the environments that children come from from their families and their communities, and ultimately they're bad for public safety. So in every regard, they're a bad investment. And we have a wonderful opportunity to bring kids back home and hold them accountable in a way that helps them get back on the right track and doesn't damage them for life. Um, the National Juvenile Justice Network is in the process of developing a series of tools to help states both hold firm to their good reforms and take advantage of this fiscal crisis as an opportunity. Um, so stay tuned to our website. We'll be keeping you posted and putting some of these great tools um, up for public use on our website. So thanks.